It is time for another exciting Mr. Bar video about probability. So this one we're going to talk about probability. Once again, I keep forgetting to put the colons in there. Probability of opposites, mutually exclusive, and overlapping events. The opposite. What's the opposite of a prime number? Opposite of prime is a composite number. What's the opposite of true? The opposite of true is false. What's the opposite of hot? Cold. What's the opposite of wet? Dry. What's the opposite of uh, sunny, rainy? Close, close enough. Here's the idea that the weatherman tells me that there is a 20% chance of rain tomorrow. Okay. So what's the chance that it won't rain tomorrow? 80%. Because that's the opposite probability. Let's see. Tomorrow morning, there is okay a 90% chance that my kids are going to be bouncing on my bed when I wake up. So what's the chance that they're not going to be bouncing on my bed? 10%. That's the opposite probability. Okay, mutually exclusive, we're gonna to come to that right now, means that it can't happen at the same time. Mutually exclu exclusive. Can't happen at the same time. If I flip a, a coin, one flip, can I flip a heads and a tails at the exact same time? No, it's either going to be one or the other. If I roll a die, can I roll a one and a six at the exact same time? No, I can either roll a one or a six. Now, can I do, can I, uh, in my car, can I turn right and left at the exact same time? No, those are mutually exclusive events. Now, can I walk and scratch my head at the same time? Yes. Those two things are not mutually exclusive. And I mentioned this yesterday, probability, we're going to be thinking of it as the favorable events over all possible events. All right, let's do some problems here. What did I do with my blue pen? There's my blue pen. Let's zoom in a bit. I pick a card at random. What is the probability that I get a three or something greater than two. Well, a three or something greater than two. Well, would this work right here? Well, that's a three, so that's a good outcome. I like that outcome. A three or greater than two. Well, a four. A four is not a three, but it's greater than two, so this, this is a favorable outcome. My lights, oh my goodness. How about this one? A five. Well, a five is not a three, but it's greater than two. So I have three favorable outcomes out of four possible outcomes. My probability is 75%. So this would be an overlapping event. Okay, this is a good one. I mean, not like the last one wasn't a good one, but this is a, it's a spinner problem. Okay. What is the probability of not getting a prime? Well, 
what is this really asking for? It's asking for the probability of getting a composite number. Well, which of these are composites? Is 8 composite? Yes. Is 9 composite? Yes. Is 6 composite? Yes. So I have 3 composites over 4 total. What, or I could think about it, what is the probability of getting a prime? Well, the getting a prime is 1 in 4, so getting not a prime is 3 out of 4. These are opposite events, so 3 out of 4. That's the probability of getting a not prime, which is the same thing as getting the probability of getting a composite. So I have to be able to think about the opposites. You pick a card at random. What is the probability of even or prime? Oh, okay, even or prime. This one makes me happy because it's even. Three. Three is not even, but it is prime. That one makes me happy. And then we come to the number one, and here's the deal. One is not considered a prime number. What is it considered? Dude, I'm a math teacher, and I don't know... What am I supposed to tell you about one? Let's go use the internet. One is not considered prime. Let's see what the internet says about this. You know what's called? I haven't, I'm not really there yet. I'm looking for it. It's going to be called the unit or something like that. What is it? One and zero, prime or composite. Da, 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 da. One is neither prime nor a composite number. A prime is not either. It can be written. Da, 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 da. It falls into a class of numbers called units. It is a unit. Hey, I was pretty close to that. Okay, so it's not prime or composite. So what is the probability of even or prime? One is not even. One is not prime. So it is not going to be included in this. So I have two out of three. Two favorables out of three possibles. And zero, we're going back to that website, zero is not prime or composite. So what's it called? It's magical. Zero falls into a category called zero divisors. Okay, good enough. That's it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in class. Goodbye.